How do I add a button on a Wix website but it's visible only to me but hidden for everybody else? Oh, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back from Insanity Films. Eh, that was silly, I know. But I'm going to show you how to add a button that is visible for you only but hidden from everybody else. Just like this. So here's my website, a page of my website, and here's my button to check my orders. So simply check my orders and voila, I can see my orders, whatever. I go back, obviously I am logged in, so that's why I can see it. So if I log off or log out and magic, the button disappears and the button is only visible for myself and nobody else. And I'll show you how to do it. So let's dig in. But before we dig in, please make sure you're subscribed. Comment down below if you want to share the video and if you find it useful. Hmm. Did I forget something? Oh wait, wait a second. I just wanted to let you know that if you want to get more information on how to get views and get more popular on YouTube, check the link in the description down below. That's what I use, TubeBuddy. All right, we're back. Sorry for the interruption, but here is how you do it. Let's go to the Wix editor and we have our page right here. So let me add a new button just to show you. I'm not gonna use or delete this one. I'm gonna create a new one and I'll show you the code and everything. So let's go to add a button. Let's choose just a random button. Let's put it next to the one. Let's give it a name, test, and that's fine. And we're gonna change his ID and let's call it button. See if I can spell test and press enter. So the next thing to do is copy these lines right here. You have to copy these lines over here. I'm gonna take them out of their brackets right there. So now it will work. Sorry, I'm having some difficulties. Oh, okay, here we go. And I'm going to take this one out for a second and put it right there. So now that we have that, I'm going to preview the website. And if you see, this is your ID. You have to copy this ID, which is your unique ID. I'm gonna copy it for privacy reasons. Of course, I'm not gonna show you my ID, but you copy your ID, you go back to the editor. I'm gonna copy it in another text, whatever. And I'm going to undo, 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 so I can go back to the normal thing. And then I'm gonna use this code right here, and I'm going to copy my ID and paste it, where it says paste your ID instead of the numbers. You paste it right there, but this was already done for the button number two, which is that one that I already created. So instead of adding another one, I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna create a new one. I'm going to delete import because we already did. And I'm going to change the ID of the button to button test. And for this one too. And there we go. So if we save and then publish the site, we should be able to refresh this page. And we see the new button. So let me log out again. So I'll show you and you will see that the button is disappeared. And there we go. The buttons are not longer there. Let me log in back again. Okay, we are logged in. Refresh. I can see both my button. So, your button just for yourself. Basically, what I use it for, it's very simple. It's just for me to check the orders of my website. So I can click on check orders and I don't have to go through the data set itself or the database and check everything by code or whatever. This is very useful for me, but it's only for you to check your data. You can collect whatever you want. I created another page with the same process, which is on the LS Brigade, so people can fill this form and then I can check the submissions, but this button is only visible for myself, not for anybody else. And that's perfect. So I can collect the data that all the customers, the users are putting in to check their own tricks or whatever they're checking. One thing to remember is to delete this part of the code, the one that you're retrieving, you're getting the ID. I leave it like this, but you just delete it, it's fine. And also don't do double lines with the import Wix user, otherwise you will get an error. But that's pretty much it. You will get the code in the comments down below. If you like this video, please comment down below, give us a like and uh, share with your friends. Subscribe, especially subscribe if you want to see video like this. 
And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, as usual, Insanity Films out. <laughs>